Do you like taking massive flower rips, but you have a problem with just getting resin on your lips and teeth? This is an issue that seemingly comes out of nowhere for a lot of stoners. And it happened to me years ago. I was smoking a lot. I was just getting a lot of different flour from different places. And then seemingly out of nowhere, I would just get resin on my lips and teeth every time I would take a hit. No matter what dispo I'd get the flour from, no matter what strain I tried, I just started to get resin on my lips and teeth every hit I was using. Well, there's no real definitive answers for why this happened. Scientists aren't out there studying resin lips on bong rips right now. But I've personally done a lot of experimentation with this. And I've done a lot of research looking online, reading through forums, reading through subreddits, getting other people's takes and opinions. And I think I have some pretty good advice for anybody that's getting resin lips. So the first factor for resin lips and why it seemingly comes out of nowhere for a lot of people, there's plenty of people that are like, I've been smoking for 15 years and out of nowhere, I just started getting resin lips. Well, you're more likely to get resin lips with higher quality flour, but you're also more likely to get resin lips with bigger hits. So for a lot of people over time, the flour that they're getting is better. And then also because it's better, maybe, maybe as a result of it being better, but they're also taking bigger hits. And I was taking bigger hits than I was ever taking. And when you take a big old hit, you're producing a lot more smoke and more smoke in a smaller area is gonna condense and produce resin. You're producing resin every time you take a flower hit, but when you take a bigger flower hit, you're producing more resin. And this is wild because there's plenty of smoke circles where only one person in the circle is getting resin lips and that person just takes the biggest hits. But there's a lot of other factors here. There's a few things at play. It's not just one thing. It's not just two things. It's a lot of things. There's a lot of moving parts that cause resin lips. I do wanna say first, if you switch to like vaping flour or dabbing only, you're not gonna have this issue. But if you like big old milky bong rips, if you like combusting those hits and you do have this issue, here's one way or here's a few ways that you can combat it. So some things that I've learned that affect or cause the resin lips is the position of your lips. Anything where you have to really narrow your lips, the smoke doesn't have as much of a space to pass through, meaning it has to condense down into a smaller little airway to pass through your lips. So if you're creating a little hole with your lips and you're creating a lot of smoke that has to pass through that little hole, it's gonna build up with resin here. I do need to stress or I do need to mention you are gonna get resin in your throat, in your lungs. You've already been doing that. You're just more used to it, but now you're getting it on your teeth and you don't wanna do that anymore. Some people say it's better to catch it on your lips and teeth, but for some people, when you catch it on your lips and teeth, it ruins the whole experience and you don't wanna smoke anymore. But the position of your lips, I, I noticed when I got a piece with a lazy neck or like a very narrow curved neck, I was getting it every time. If you ever seen my little one piece, my little quad bubbler has a narrow mouthpiece. That gives me resin lips almost every hit now. I don't really use it that much anymore. And before you say it, some people are going to suggest the Moose Labs mouthpiece filter. But if you have any experience with those, those actually make resin lips worse. Or that little filter that they give you literally clogs after two or three hits. If you genuinely have a problem with resin lips, you're taking massive rips and those filters aren't going to fix it. They're just going to clog after a few rips. Those things are literally a scam and they cause you to produce more resin because they're narrowing the air path for your smoke. Because you're going through that narrow filter, it's producing more resin to catch. It's making more resin in that little space. It's weird how it works. But those aren't gonna solve your problem. So I noticed when I switch from like a lazy neck to like a big beaker, like an open mouthpiece, I never get resin lips on a big open mouthpiece. But there's a few other factors. There's a few things that you can also adjust. How tightly you pack your bowl. If you like push the herb down into your bowl, if you pack it tightly, the smoke that you're gonna create is so much thicker. You're not able to pull as much oxygen through. When you pull your flower piece, when you pull on your bong rib, air is coming through the bowl. If your bowl is packed super tight, less air, less oxygen is gonna come through. So there's just more smoke in your piece. More smoke means it's more condensed, means you're gonna produce more resin with it. So packing a bowl too tight is going to make that smoke thicker in a sense. Now, another thing that you wanna consider is air pressure of your piece. Now I'm gonna explain it like this. If you have to like suck on your piece to get it to bubble or percolate, if you have to pull kind of hard to get it to bubble or percolate, that piece is gonna cause resin. The smoke is just too condensed in there. If you can just lightly pull on your piece, like a light breath, you're not even sucking, you're just breathing in lightly and it bubbles, that piece is less likely to give you resin lips. There's a little bit more air in there. So something like a single stage beaker with just a down stem in it that has a nice little airway where it's not really condensing the smoke, it's not cutting off your airflow in like a tight path anywhere, 
something that has a good airflow isn't going to give you resin lips as bad or as bad of a resin buildup. Anything with like three, four, five percolators. I thought adding more percolators to a piece was going to stop the resin. It actually makes it worse. In some cases, you're just like increasing the air pressure of your piece by adding more glass on there. And that tight pressure with the smoke is just going to create more resin. So something that has just like a generally loose pull or relaxed pull on it. Something where you can just inhale and pull and you don't have to suck on it to pull. There's some pieces you literally have to like suck on them really hard to get it to bubble and percolate that could be an issue due to like water levels if you put too much water and stuff you do have to pull a little bit harder that can create this phenomenon that we're talking about but some pieces are just designed poorly and no matter the water level they just have a really tight airflow now another thing to mention you guys have probably heard me talk about this before but warm water in your piece if you're trying all those other steps out and you're still getting a little bit of resin on your lips and teeth try using faucet hot water i'm not talking about boiling water it shouldn't be bubbling but like whatever water comes out of your faucet that hot stuff that's about good to go that was actually one of the first things i tried my general approach was to use a different mouthpiece in warm water and actually just switching from cold water i was using cold water i'd use a lot of snow and ice and stuff like that in my bong when i lived in colorado but i just tried warm water one day after reading it on some like future 4200 form something from a while ago some old hippie taught me this and i don't even know who he is but i just read to use like warm water and a big mouthpiece and just doing those two things kind of solved the issues but just doing a lot of experimentation with all the different pieces i have helped me to understand a little bit more about what was happening you're always getting resin when you hit it. But using things like ice and cold water and high air pressure pieces with a lot of percolators just straight up cause you to produce more resin. Your piece gets coated in resin. Your lips get coated in resin. Your teeth get covered in it. And I think when you use cold water, cold air, all that stuff, you're getting more resin in your lungs. I don't personally hold on to my hits. I think the longer you hold on to them, the more resin you're going to store, the more tar you're going to store in your body, which your body naturally processes that over time. I think there's a limit to it, right? I think if you're just smoking a ridiculous amount and you're just loading your lungs up with tar and resin, that your body's not going to be able to process that. But I think a little bit of smoking here and there isn't so bad. But I did mention earlier, like herb vapes concentrates doing dabs and stuff like that that's much cleaner there's no tar you're really just getting vapor so any solid or anything that forms isn't nearly as harmful or as bad for you as like the tar or resin from smoke but i figured i'd make this video because i have heard a lot of people having issues with resin lips it was an issue that came out of nowhere for me and that's how it is for a lot of people just out of nowhere you're like damn it I got the resin all over my lips and teeth. So try using warm water in your piece. Stop using narrow mouthpieces and curved necks. Just use a nice straight, like a beaker is perfect. Don't purse your lips too tight. Have a nice open mouth. Higher quality, stickier weed might be more likely to do it. Try to avoid packing your bowls too tight. Avoid any piece that has like a high air pressure. If you have to suck on the piece really hard to get the smoke through, then that's not ideal for avoiding resin lips. And if you watch this whole video and you're not sure what the resin lips are or what it looks like, I'm actually just for this video going to take a fatty rip out of my quad bubbler with an ash catcher on it and purposely give myself resin lips for an Instagram video. So go check out my Instagram, Cupins420 on IG if you want to see me take a hit and get resin lips. And if you want to set with me join me on twitch i go live every night 9 p.m eastern and if you have amazon prime you can support me for free and if you're thinking to yourself i've never had resin lips i want to figure out how i can take bigger hits to potentially give myself the problem of resin lips so i can solve that problem with this video then watch this video on how to take bigger rips these are some real tips that you can start using today to take fatter rips have a lit day my dudes